This is Stan Bush, and this epic video you from Optopotamus truly has the touch. coming at you with another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the new reissue of the Transformers G1 Decepticon Astral Train. Now this is a very special reissue. The reasoning behind it because as you can see by the image, at least the image, is white and black. But when you look at the toy, the toy is also white and black and that might actually confuse some people because, well, Astral Train in the cartoon was purple and black. Now we'll get into why he's this color in, in just a second, but looking at the packaging, really nice open package. Uh, it's not even an open package, I don't even know why I said that, it's just uh, this package here that opens and it's hard to get to. There you go. And as you can see, you got Optimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, Astro Train, and Soundwave. And here's the image of the figure itself. And as you can see, he is white and black. Absolutely fantastic. This is one of the figures that I've always wanted. It, it always seemed that when, when I was a kid, everybody had Astro Train. It was a spaceship. And uh, Kids love spaceships, and they love trains. But I never had this guy, so I really am very happy to finally get him. Come around here to the back, and you have a really nice image here of some art of some Autobots and Decepticons. It's a world where things are not what they seem. It's a world of heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons, who are known as the Transformers. <laughs> Come up to the top here, you see the image as well, as well as a little advertisement for the Transformer Collector Club. You got his tech specs, and it says that his function is a military transport whose quote is in confusion there is opportunity. Creating confusion is his specialty. As a triple changer, can switch from space shuttle to train to robot almost instantaneously. Thrives on foes panic and fear as a shuttle travels 20,000 miles per hour in orbit. Wow, that's pretty fast and up to 50,000 miles per hour out of orbit. Can launch weapons and satellites, carries cargo, and has a train has a top speed of 400 miles per hour with a range of 1,700 miles. As a robot, he has great strength, carries powerful ionic display, Blazer rifle. Uh, the, it really doesn't give you much of a bio. It just kind of is very specific and gets to the point about what he has going for him, I, said, I suppose. But beyond that, though, absolutely fantastic looking packaging. I love the G1 look, you know, with the grid and everything on there. So this is definitely a figure that I'm very excited about. So let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. Right, guys so here we have Astro Train opened up and out of its packaging and one thing that I want to talk about right up front is why is he this white and black color well Astro Train was originally part of the Transformers Diaclone line well before Transformers existed Takara had the Diaclone line and they weren't really Autobots or Decepticons they were just transforming toys that were meant to kind of look like their real life counterparts so while there was never an official Diaclone release of this there was an image that showcased this figure in one of their early, I think, 1984 catalogs. Uh, the figure never came out in this color because, well, Hasbro got a hold of them and because of the cartoon made them purple and black. So we never really actually got this white and black version of this character. Now, a few years ago, there was a book box release of him that came out and he was actually in this color scheme, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, one thing that's kind of weird is the packaging that I showed you earlier is a it's kind of a confusing packaging. I say that because, well, when you get the instructions, it actually still says commemorative series number nine, as well as has instructions that are all done in English and from Hasbro. Which is really, again, very interesting that Hasbro would choose to release a uh, color scheme kind of diaclone figure. But what's really kind of strange is that it comes with the instruction sheet from Takara. So you got Hasbro instructions, you got basically a Takara figure and the Takara inch, uh, sticker sheet. But it doesn't actually come with the stickers that make up the red bits here on his chest piece. Uh, they didn't include that sticker for whatever reason. So if that's gonna bug you, you may have a problem with this whole figure just in general. For me, it really doesn't bug me all that much. I do absolutely love the stickers on here. Again, because it's meant to really kind of replicate a real space shuttle, you do have a sticker here that says the USA. Uh, you have ASTR, which originally that said NASA, but you can't have that now. So keeping with the same kind of font, they have basically 
basically Astro Train. You've got Decepticon logos here and here. These are printed right on here, though. Those aren't actual stickers, which is really cool. Uh, you got some warning stickers on here, which I would zoom in, but it's so incredibly tiny that even if I zoom in, you won't be able to see it. But what's kind of funny is that there's some actual misspellings on here, which might just be from uh, the translation from uh, or into English, I guess. But either way, really very cool. You got the rub sign right here. Um, and that's about it in terms of the stickers on here. But as you can see, beautiful looking figure. Now, I know some people that may not like this because they're used to Astro Train being the purple and black. I dig this. This is really very cool. I, I, I'm a big uh, Space Shuttle fan and I absolutely love this version of this. Now, this is a character that I do enjoy. And at some point in time, I would like to pick up the, the purple version just because that's what was represented in the cartoon. But this is for collectors, if you ask me. The, this goes towards the collector who wants that kind of diaclone homage and i totally dig it now as i mentioned astro train is a triple changer so this is one of his modes the other one being the train all you have to do to get to there kind of slide this up tuck that in just like so pull this down that'll peg into place right there rotate these little bits down like so come around here lift this these tab in there really nicely lift that up kind of rotate this out and around bring that back up tab that in there come on get in there tab in there there we go then fold this down rotate this around and as you can see now astro train is in his second mode and this this honestly is probably the the weaker of the two modes in my opinion i i mean i just like space shops or space shuttles a whole lot more uh he does get an extra sticker right here which is just kind of like a headlight but he rolls really nice detail for a locomotive here on the side you got this entire top section all here this is all die cast you got some die cast right here i mean this is a wonderful looking figure uh I, or mode I suppose it's just kind of plain in this mode and the other thing is with a lot of transformers scale is absolutely off with this obviously uh, in in real terms these things should be massive this guy should be huge we've seen him cart armies of Decepticons both in his train mode and his space shuttle mode and there's definitely no way that he's doing any of that in this thing but it's still a nice representation of it uh, I, I am kind of disappointed because you, you got the the 2012 Hasbro stamp right there um, I, I don't like that that's kind of ugly and really just sticks out there you got nothing on that side but that's just kind of ugly I really wish there was some other place I could or they could put that um, I, I don't know where they could have but that's just that's kind of ugly right there if you ask me but for the best mode form is his robot form so fold these back down like so rotate this around now this was a problem with a lot of the original toys out these legs became very loose over time um, because as you pull it out there's a little nub here that it it clicks into right there and that keeps the legs extended uh, over time though most figures that really kind of wore out and the, the legs would actually just like collapse in on themselves and that always sucked for a lot of the vintage toys angling back here then you take this section rotate this out rotate these around like so then you take your fingernail which I don't really have fingernails but uh, pull out his hand or I'm sorry his arms I should say right there and then take this section fold this back kind of rest it right there along the side straighten out his arms and here you have Astro Train and another uh, distinction that you're going to see is that Astro Train in this incarnation has red eyes now there's a lot of white on this figure and I know white background white figure but I don't like using the gray background because it sucks for white balance and background ends up looking green and I don't like it but as you can see when you do transform you get some extra stickers here on his forearms you get some well those stickers are always there well no they're not because that's covering it so you got the little exhaust stickers or sort of there uh, but this guy is awesome now here the actual official transformation shows you doing this uh, and then you would have the stickers, red stickers here and here. I don't have that with this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily bug me all that much because totally honest with you guys, I never would transform him this way anyhow. Uh, the actual animation looks more along the lines like this and I like that a whole lot more and that's really how I display this guy. So 
that's really about it. Uh, now, in some, in terms of the, the quality and stuff, this is very new, so it feels very good. But again, uh, over time, these little bits right here would become weak and kind of flop all over the place. And this would kind of flop sometimes and not stay nice and, and tight, I suppose. Uh, but the legs were probably the biggest problems. Now, for his accessories, he comes with this gigantic gun, which, as you can see, is almost as big as he is. And then when you put it in his arm, I mean, here's his arm. Here's this gun. I mean, that's just insane how big this gun is. I, I like it. It's just really insane, but still real fun nonetheless. Now, because it's a G1 figure, again, you, you basically know what you're getting in terms of the articulation. Nothing. There's, well, I shouldn't say that. The arms, they're all like, I don't want to say they're on ball joints. Well, yeah, they kind of are, are actually on ball joints. These are little ball bits. So these rotate all the way around, in and out, nothing at the elbow or anything of that nature. So... Uh, I always wondered if this extends out, and I guess it doesn't. It just kind of looks like it would extend out, but man. Nah. And honestly, this is the first time I've ever owned this figure, and I'm absolutely thrilled to have this guy. It's going to have a very special place on my collection shelf, and like I said, it is a more kind of niche sort of figure because it is representative of the Diaclone version of this guy. But regardless, any way that you can get your hands on an Astro Train, I would absolutely recommend it, and this is a real nice, fairly affordable way to do so. Now to transform him back, we're going to go into his uh, his train. So just rotate that up, rotate that down, peg that down, 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 down. We're going downtown. I don't know. Peg that there. Rotate that around like so. Uh, these bits also would get kind of loose if I remember correctly. And these are really nice and tight on this figure. Rotate that around like so. And here you have him back in his train mode. Um, again, probably the weaker of the two modes. That's my biggest complaint, that right there. And it's just really kind of lacking a lot of details. But it, it is, the, well, a, a train. And, and they don't have a lot of details. But I would really love it if there was some extra bits on here. But in doing so, you kind of ruin some of the look of the space shuttle, I suppose. And to get to that space shuttle, just flip it. And again, it's 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 kind of funny uh, because when you transform him into a space shuttle, you do all this. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Everything is now upside down. And then he would fly and then spin around as he would transform, which was always kind of a, a dramatic kind of thing for me. I always thought that was kind of cool to, to see, I, I guess. But I'm, I'm weird like that. Uh, peg that down. Peg that down, straighten that up, and here you have him back in his space shuttle mode. Now, again, I know a lot of people probably aren't going to really dig this kind of color scheme for this guy. But if you don't have Astro Train, I think this is a wonderful way to pick the character up. What's kind of interesting, though, is that it, it does appear to be a Hasbro release. Yeah, we haven't gotten any kind of real indication that the Commemorator series is going to be coming back to retail, which is where the Commemorator series really goes. It goes to places like Toys R Us. So it's really kind of confusing where this figure really comes from. I got him from Big Bad Toy Store, and if you guys are interested in picking him up, I would absolutely recommend doing it. This is a wonderful figure to kind of add to any kind of G1 collection, whether you be a hardcore G1 collector or just kind of a casual one. This goes back even further than G1, and like I said, homages the Diaclone line, which is a really cool kind of grandfather, I suppose, to Transformers. But if you guys are really interested in picking this guy up, I would encourage you to click on the link down in the video description. It'll take you to Big Bad Toy Store, and you can decide for yourself whether or not you really want to get this guy and put him on your collection shelf. But that's about it, guys. So until next time, I want to thank you for tuning in. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomus. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optibotomus. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.